Today's application developers expect to use modern development environments and tools. This demo shows how to do VxWorks application development in Visual Studio Code using the Wind River Visual Studio Code extension. To put this in context, here's an example workflow that shows how a platform developer can build an SDK in Wind River Studio, which can then be used by an application developer to do app development in VS Code. First, let's briefly look at how the platform developer builds the SDK. Next, to get started, the application developer installs the Wind River Studio extension, which is available in the VS Code Marketplace. The extension includes an SDK manager. We can download and register our SDKs here. The Studio extension gives us the ability to bring up a local QMU simulator or connect to a target registered with the Studio Hive target manager. Let's boot up a VxWorks image provided by the platform developer as part of the SDK on a local QMU simulator. Next, let's create our application. We can choose which of our SDKs to use and what kind of VxWorks application we want to build. The newly created application comes pre-populated with a simple hello world C file, so it's immediately ready to build. Now the application is built, let's tell VS Code how to run it. The standard VS Code mechanism for doing this is to define a launch.json file. However, the Studio extension provides a convenient menu option to create that file for us. Just through debug options and what target to run on. We'll use the QMU simulator we spun up a moment ago. Now we can run our program using VS Code's standard run and debug view. First, let's run it. OK, it printed a hello world as we expected. Now let's set a breakpoint and run again. This time we see it hit the breakpoint. Now we can continue, and again we see our expected output. OK, so that was easy enough. Let's look at a more interesting example. Let's run it. It looks like we expect to see success being printed. Actually, hold on, what's this one here? Ah, VS Code is telling us that there was a build warning. Let's take a look. OK, simple enough to fix. I forgot to return a value from this function. Let's try again. Hold on, what happened here? The debugger stopped at this line. OK, well, let's take a look at the call stack. We can expect the values of local variables. Check out the CPU registers. Ah, here's the problem. Pointer is zero, so we're writing to a null pointer. Let's stop the program and fix the issue. OK, now try again. And success. So, in summary, we've seen how to use an SDK provided by a platform developer to build, run, and debug a VxWorks application using VS Code.